Welcome to Namo Test Center. It's a freezing day in January and we are here to show the advantages of the Kongsberg remote weapon station and Namo's airburst ammunition. Vi skal skjøte Bæria. Det er på Mursensvegen. Ja. Airbrushed forbi veggen. Hva er advantagen med vår airburst ammunisjon sammen med konvensjonell ammunisjon? Vel, først av alt har vi airburst. Du kan programme denne runden til airburst wherever you want it to airburst. So you can take out targets in death lead, behind corners, in trenches, over rooftops. Da kan du telle henne, og er vi klar til å slutte. Den gikk hvertfall bak. Da trekker vi to meter tilbake, og så skjøter vi en tre skudds bygge. Perfect. Okay, so now we can see that there is a lot of fragments uh, behind this wall. You can see that the, the round has air bursted in the air, in, in this area, and you will see a lot of fragments on the ground behind. So any targets hiding behind this wall would have been taken out. But you can also see fragment hits in the wall. So what we have here is the remote weapon station from Kongsberg uh, with a Hexalon Koch uh, automatic grenade launcher. Uh, this system together with Namo's airburst ammunition and a fuse setter or a programming unit from Namo you'll be able to have a system that is very precise. Da er vi klare til å skyte et skudd. Vi er lade, da er vi klare til skudd. I dekning, skudd kommer. Tre, to, en, fy! Ok. That's the... Impact hole. Right. And since this is a 65 millimeter plate, let's see if it went through, and it went through, yeah. So, this is the back side of the plate where you can see the jet shape chart from the jet of the round going through. So now we're going to shoot seven rounds against the concrete wall uh, to show the impact mode of the grenade. Okay, so as we can see here, we have had seven rounds uh, impact a uh, concrete wall. You can see the impact areas, and you can also see where the jet has actually shot through the concrete. 
the jet is shooting through the wall uh, with approximately 4,000 meters per second. We see big concrete fragments that have flown 10, 15 meters behind the wall. We have the HNK gun here. We have the NAMO fuse setter or the antenna, the programming unit here. What happens when you shoot this round is that the antenna will program the round to air burst right after the muscle exit. So the air burst time will be transmitted to the round and the round will start to count down. So I'm standing um, in the middle of the, uh, the field here where we can see a lot of fragment hits on, in the ice. So this is from the, uh, the scatter where we do basically a string of pearls, shoot five rounds that will uh, have different airburst distances. And that will spread fragments out uh, in the distance and create a, a huge uh, dangerous area. Another benefit with combining our remote weapon station with the NAMO airburst ammunition is that it gives us the possibility or opportunity to add more explosive to the round uh, by removing the tracer. We believe the tracer is obsolete since the remote weapon station gives you a very high hit probability and very high accuracy. Okay, so we can, as we can see here, there's a lot of fragment hitting the ice here in front of the car. And we can also see that there's a lot of fragments actually hitting the car. So the round did exactly what it uh, was supposed to do and airburst in the area of the car. <laughs> 